Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. During the winter, we built our new quarantine system, and I posted a series of videos following the construction process. The system is now finished and has a stock of fish. In this video, I'm going to give you a guided tour and explain how it all works. The system is an unusual wedge shape, chosen because we had more space towards the back of the room, furthest away from the door. The system is partitioned into four separate bays, with removable nets down the front to prevent the fish from jumping out. Down the back of the system, a sloping splashback will prevent fish from getting stuck. It is 8.5 meters long, 1 meter wide at the narrow end, widening to 2.2 meters at its widest point. It is just under a meter deep and has a water volume of around 13,000 liters or 2,600 gallons. Although this is a relatively small quarantine, it is ideal for our needs and can be heavily stocked with koi without any problems due to the efficient filter system and powerful air pump. The bays have dish shaped bottoms and are fitted with 4 inch drains to draw in solid waste from the fish. Each of the bays has a 4 inch valve to enable isolation and purging. A single 4 inch pipe runs down the front of the system connecting each of the tanks. The pipe then turns through 90 degrees across the back wall, passes through another 4 inch isolation valve and enters the filter system. It is a gravity fed system with three separate chambers, 3 meters long by a meter wide. The first chamber is a traditional vortex for settling out heavy solids. Because of the shape of the vortex and the position of the inlet and outlet, the water in the vortex will gently spin. The fish solids are pushed to the outside of the chamber and start to settle out collecting in the bottom of the chamber. The next chamber is a mechanical filter, designed to remove fine solids and help with water clarity. It is filled with 200 litres of K1 micromedia. As the water percolates through, the solids become trapped inside the K1. The K1 is static, not moving, and there is a tray at the bottom to stop it from moving into the next chamber. The final chamber is filled with biological matting, sometimes called Japanese matting. This material gets colonized with millions of bacteria that break down ammonia and nitrites, keeping the water fit and healthy for the fish. A pump is connected to the end of the filter and pumps water down a 2 inch pipe back to each of the baits. Often gravity fed filters will only work when the pond is full of water and you need to turn off the pump when doing even a moderate water change. I 
absolutely hate this for many reasons. Not least is that it is possible for you to forget to turn the pump back on, leaving the pond without circulation for hours. To avoid this, the system has been designed so that it is possible to carry out large water changes and maintain the filter on the fly without the need to turn off the pump. To maintain the system, we need to regularly flush the sediment out of the vortex to waste. This is done by simply opening the valve on the bottom of the tank for a few seconds. From time to time we do a more thorough purge on each of the bays by draining the vortex and opening each of the four 4 inch valves separately. This removes any accumulation in the bottom drains. The K1 chamber is cleaned by massive agitation and draining. Air from the air pump is diverted into the stones at the bottom of the tank. Water from the pump is diverted into the chamber at the top. The effect of this is to vigorously agitate the K1 and to free off all of the small particles trapped inside the K1. We leave it running for a few minutes then open up the drain on the bottom of the tank thus flushing away the dirt to waste. The final chamber does not require much in the way of maintenance. I was considering placing some fine wadding in there to trap the fine solids, but to be honest K1 Micro has worked so well that this is not being required. We have an overflow to waste that prevents the water level rising too high in the system and a ball cock to maintain the water level. As was to be expected, it took several months to fully cycle the filters. This was helped along by the use of donor media from our main pond and a series of regular doses of biological booster treatment. I am very pleased with how it is all working and I know it will be used for years to come. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe to the channel, post some comments and give the video a thumbs up. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.